Hello, welcome back to the, to the uh, porch. Today, uh, I'm going to feature this piece that I made in the last video. I'm going to try to do all of my talking up front, and uh, I'll, I'll hopefully say some closing remarks, and we'll be done with it. We'd let you watch the work and not have to listen to me ramble. But in setting up for the work, uh, this was in the last video. This was the punch that I made. And you may have noticed in the video that I had some redness in here. I noticed that in the footage when I was uh, when I was editing that video to put it up. Um, hopefully the heat treat is going to be okay in this. Uh, hopefully everything will hold up properly. If it doesn't, maybe we'll get through this project and I'll have to make another one. Maybe I'll have to make another one to begin with. Maybe I'll just have to reheat treat this one. I don't know. Lots of maybes. We'll, we'll figure it out as we go. But today what I'm going to do, uh, still in preparation for the Warhammer. You see it's still in a square, um, what is that called? A rectangular shape. It's not much of a Warhammer. I haven't started it yet. But today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making a set of hammer tongs. What I'm going to need to start off with is two pieces of 5 16 material square that is uh, 24 inches long. And that's uh, that's what I'll be starting with. And any questions, please put them in the comments and uh, I'll do what I can to answer them. But let's get the fire, uh, forge fired up and get started.
do it again. And we're gonna bend this. is about to happen so when I bend this did I bend this the wrong way I might have bent it the wrong way so in answer to that last question yes I bent it the wrong way Got it. It's reminding me. Cause this is hot. Ah, now I see why. I've already punched the other one. I don't know if I put that in the video or not, but I did. And uh, I noticed that my hole was oblong and I ran a drill bit through it. The reason the hole's oblong is the punch is oblong. Come on out, slug. Come out, slug. It's out.
and I'll uh, probably run a drill bit through. Well, no, not probably. I will run a drill bit through this before I assemble everything. In case you're wondering, no, I did not create much of a boss there. Uh, these are not very heavy-duty tongs, I guess, but we'll work on that later on another set. I'm going to bring this down in thickness here so that it matches here so that I've got good clearance. blows these nice little sharp snags in your in your work Okay, well, I cheated and I took the handle, the, the reins to the uh, power hammer to go ahead and draw them out kind of quickly. I'm running out of time. I really need these done. Uh, what I'll do now, I'm about, they're, they're both very hot. I'm going to let them cool and go in and eat some lunch. Then I'm going to go to the carport and run a drill bit through the, uh, through the holes. And we'll rivet them together and do whatever tweaking we have to do and get them ready to go. It's honestly pretty tempting to rob one of my rivets from my uh, Ken's Custom Ironworks tongs over there that I need to finish. But I'm not going to do that. We're going to make this work.
left my boiled linseed oil inside. Uh, so I'll just use beeswax to coat these. Probably should have left a glove on, honestly. The rain are the yeah the rains are cool enough to do this, but the the bit probably is going to burst into flames if I'm not careful. Rains could probably be a little warmer, to be honest. Yeah, let's put this back in the forge and let it bake in a little bit. Forge isn't even lit, it's just residual heat. Yeah, we're still hot toward those rings. I'm going to go ahead and clean this up. Get off the excess, I mean. Let the rains, or let the bits dry a little bit. Knock my wax on the floor. Pick it up four step on it. Grind more dirt into it. So we have some ugly hammer tongs here, but let's see if they work. Yeah, they, well, I need to adjust the reins a little bit. Um, if you look where my hand is there, it's kind of far apart, so I'll need to, uh, to readjust that a little bit. Just a little bit here, see, it's not much, but it translates into a whole lot when you, when you grab the, uh, uh, the stock. Yeah, I can maneuver that. All right. They do what I need them to do. I just need to, like I said, make that adjustment. That'll be simple enough, I think. I'm, I'm actually afraid of the, the rivet. I need to work on riveting. Um, but we'll get all that. All right, so if you have uglier hammer tongs than this, let me know down in the comments. <laughs> They're ugly, but if they do the job, they're okay. They're not exactly, well, they're fairly close in line, but this actually seems to loop out further than, than this one. All right, anyway, we're gonna uh, discuss this and uh, close it out. So there they are. It's taken me a while to get the video finished out. Sorry about that. But uh, yeah, this is the ugly hammer tongs. Uh, they do work, at least for my dry runs that I did, as you saw. Uh, in a video very soon, you'll see these in action. Uh, I'm not going to say it's the next video because I have other things that I have to do, and I, I might as well video that as well. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's the hammer tongs. I will, as my skill improves, I of course will revisit this, and I'm going to make a um, uh, what do you call the thing? A rivet header. Um, a set of rivet headers to, to do my rivets better because I don't like this rivet um, at all on either side. So we'll work, that'll be a future project as well. So anyway, uh, if you found any value in this video, please uh, drop a like and, uh, and give me a, a comment. And uh, again, if you've seen, if you have hammer tongs uglier than these, uh, post a link. I'd like to see them because <laughs> I think I've got the, right now I'm, I'm in first place. Uh, so anyway, uh, yeah, drop a comment down if you will, and uh, if you would, share this with your friends. If you're not subscribed, I'd appreciate it if you would. Uh, if you don't feel like subscribing, I'm fine with that, but it would be great if you would. We're, we're over 300 subscribers now, which is amazing to me, and I thank each of you for that. Um, but uh, we've got big plans coming up, and uh, stay tuned for those. We're going to let you go and enjoy the rest of your day.